my name is Ashkan and in today's tutorial I'm gonna show you how to use bend in Cesar 2 okay first of all you have to click on the pipe or a spool that you're gonna add a bend at the end of that one then by clicking on this option you will have a bend added at the end of that spool uh, the bend have various kind of settings like short one line one 3d or 5d or even you can add the radius of your bend manually here to change the radius of your bend which is used uh, commonly in pipeline design because those uh, designs are mixed with various kind of uh, direction changes vertically or horizontally next item that you can see in bend settings is the type of your bend uh, I don't know why the type is named for this section but uh, when, when you're reading the help of the software it says that if you have a flange or a double flange at the distance less than the 2d of the pipe uh, from your elbow you have to click on this option it might be because of the reason that these kind of solid objects have a big effect on the ovality or flexibility of your elbow because you know that the elbows are a main option for controlling the thermal expansion in your piping system in this section you can change uh, the value of each bend segment uh, by setting a value for that angle for example uh, you can break your bend into three sections and for each of them you can add a value for for your angle but you have to consider that all the summation of the angles angle one two three uh, must be equal to the final direction change that you're gonna have okay the next part is meter point when you're gonna use a meter bend elbow in your piping system you you have to specify the number of the cuts because in this way by having the number of the cuts and the direction change value the software can calculate the flexibility and the sif or stress intensification factor around your elbow but what about fitting thickness what is it uh, in some cases in piping systems you might have a fitting with uh, higher or greater thickness than the adjacent pipes in this case you have to specify that thickness for the software because uh, it heavily affects the ovality of your fitting i mentioned it again your elbows are the sections that control the thermal expansions and the fluctuation of your piping system okay and if that fitting because of thickness or any other limitation you cannot control those um, thermal expansions and fluctuations it should be considered in the software otherwise you will get some errors as a result of your analysis the final item that i'm gonna describe is a k-factor which is uh, considered as the flexibility of your elbow if you press f1 you can see the help of the software the k factor is bend flexibility factor which is as a, which is considered as a default equal to eh to ea uh, the first item is hoop modulus and the second one is last modulus axial modulus of elasticity uh, by default the software takes this parameter as two okay thank you everyone for watching this video please like and comment and subscribe to the channel for more videos thank you bye bye Thank <music> you.